What is good, Kizzy gang, bro? You know what I'm saying, y'all? And we're back, bro. We're back with something new. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get some comedy going. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't never heard of Bill Burr. You know what I'm saying? And I see the, I see the reaction community going crazy over some Bill Burr. You know what I'm saying? So we about to do this Bill Burr, man. You know what I'm saying? I said Bill Burr like eight times. God damn, bro. What the hell? All right, y'all. But we got Bill Burr, Black Friends, Clothes in Harlem. This, 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 this was interesting for me. You know what I'm saying? This was real interesting for me. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into this. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to waste too much time, bro. Like I said, it's my first time hearing of this man, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. I don't really have much to say. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And uh, I got to get rid of them, man. I got to admit to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> All of us, as soon as, as soon as he said, I got, I got black friends, and, and then he said, <laughs> I thought we was going a different direction. Like, <laughs> so I got to get rid of them, bro. Like, <laughs> God damn. Uh, friends of uh, African persuasion, and uh, I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you, I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them, cause I gotta like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. Hey yo. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on, <laughs> all brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is you know I basically I iron the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. Yeah. <laughs> they just start trapping. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> One thing about black friends, bro, you know what I'm saying, is that, my boy, if y'all go out, you know what I'm saying, say, say you got a fly-ass fit, you know what I'm saying, fly-ass fit that you got on, you know what I'm saying, like, you love this fit, this fit's crazy, like, this fit's crazy to you, you know what I'm saying, you feel like you're going to bag all the drones with this fit, you feel me, and then you go out with it, you feel me, and then next week, like, like next week, y'all go out and y'all and y'all go do something else, you feel me, and you're like, oh, I'm picking an outfit, I'm, I'm going to pick my fly fit, this is my fly fit, you know what I'm saying, and you go out with the same fit, you know what I'm saying? Bro, if you have black friends, bro, you are going to get torched, bro. Flame, bro. Like, I'm talking about it's over for you, bro. Like, you can't, bro. Nah, bro. If you got a fire-ass fit, bro, you wear it one time, you go out, bro, with your boys and shit like that, bro, let that be the last time you wear that fit out. No cap. You know what I'm saying? You can wear the jeans or something like that, maybe the sneaks, but don't wear don't wear the same whole fit. You know what I'm saying, gang? Like, you're going to get flamed, bro. You ask it. It, it. it happened in school, bro. I used to get bullied in school for the same shit, gang. Like, no cap. <laughs> no cap, bro. Wearing the same shit. Nah, bro. Change it up. <laughs> brand new shit on. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is, <laughs> I, you know, I basically, I iron the shit, right? Nah, I it's not it, flying. Right? It's they just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. <laughs> and I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. Yo! No cat. <laughs> it's like a roll or something. Yo. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you got to like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period. Why Yo. are you going to notice? <laughs> All of a sudden just look at you funny like this motherfucker's got the same shit. He had a last <laughs> What was I telling y'all, bro? What was I telling y'all, bro? The nigga... <laughs> you can't, bro. Within a 10-day period, bro. It's probably like... It's probably more like... It's probably more like 8, 9... I, actually, I'll, I'll give it 10. Within a 10-day period, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't wear that fly ass fit again, bro. Bring it out next month or some shit. You're going to get flamed, bro. They're going to be on your ass, bro. You're not going to want to chill with them no more. You're going to be acting like him. I got to get rid of him. <laughs> be acting like Bill, man. Within a 10-day period, one of them's going to notice. No cap. Wilson just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. And then the whole car's like, oh, shit. Get then Everybody him. just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. <laughs> First they do the math, like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts. <laughs> he got five shirts. They Yo. start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shirt be <laughs> saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> on the weekend, he wearing no shirt. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. <laughs> when I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? <laughs> My only frame of reference with black people was like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. 
I'm watching the video. So he's got a nice car. He's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. Yo. More Back money, more problems. Years of living in the city. This is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking <laughs> shit out of me. No bullshit, bro. That nigga right there, bro, is a dangerous man, bro. He, he, you got, you can't trust that nigga, bro. Like, if he got the all white, the all white Air Forces, bro. If you wearing the all white Air Force and you got your shit stained up, bro. Any beat up Air Force, bro, you can't trust him, bro. If you got a friend that's wearing beat up Air Forces, bro, you can't trust them niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Let's just, okay, let's start there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, he's not capping, bro. This is crazy. After 10 years of living in the city, this is how I know it's his friends? Done. Well, the black dude scares me. Now, black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> no. I figured out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, <laughs> if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. Yo, yo, I got like three pairs of busted up Air Forces that I refuse to put on, bro. And I don't even know why. You know what? After today, I'm probably going to throw them out, bro. Like, real rap, bro. But I refuse to put them on, bro, because they busted up. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. I, I refuse to walk outside and some busted up Air Forces, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like, any busted up shoe. But the Air Force is the number one. Is the number one. If you have busted up Air Forces... Leave him alone. Even they got creases, bro. It's crazy. Neighborhood. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> you do. I'm not saying something's going to happen. I'm just saying. I'm paying attention. <laughs> so I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, it's a black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know. Gone out That's like who he's been times, with. You know? First time we hung out. We hung out like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. Oh, shit. So shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was I, more like mid- I, I mean, like, I feel like she did right. I feel like she did right. She brought him to the racially, racially, racially mixed area. I couldn't speak for a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't bring him to the block off the rip. You know what I'm saying, gang? You, you got you to ease him into the block. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to ease your white friends into the block. They, they're going to get scared. You know what I'm saying? No cap. So I feel like she did the right move right there. You know, gone out like three, four times, you know. First time we hung out, we hung out like the village area in New York, you know, uh -huh. which is sort of like a racially mixed area. Uh-huh. So shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like midtown, you know. Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? My boy's getting it done. He's getting it done. Get your yamins. Get your yamins, Brody. Come on. Town, you know. Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? Uh-huh. So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's crazy, bro. It's, he, <laughs> he probably don't even know what he's about to expect, you know what I'm saying? Like, that block at 3.30 in the morning, bro, is going to look like it's freaking 5 p.m. On, on a Saturday, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's about to be, that block, that block is about to be active, bro. You know what I'm saying? He don't even know he's about to walk into, bro. No cap. <laughs> it's about to be wildin' over there. Fucking situation. <laughs> yeah, because you know the deal, right? Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about, like, 98th, 99th Street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the second the streets start getting into, like, triple digits, like, 100, 101st Street, start getting, like, a little asthma, like, ah, oh, fuck. It's starting to get a little high up here. Hey, yo. Uh... You feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? <laughs> 106th Street, you're like leaning on shit. Like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? <laughs> How come there's no taxis up here? <laughs> dude, what's a bodega? Hey. I don't know what that is. Let's get the fuck out of here. Every tourist that take the wrong turn in New York, like, hey, where the hell am I at? I ain't seen a taxi in blocks, bro. What the fuck? Like, what the hell is this? Like, this Chinese store even open, like. <laughs> Start questioning shit, like. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, bro. There's no taxis up here. 
<laughs> Dude, what's a bodega? Come on. I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I'm praying to God she's going to tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder uh -huh. and see like all the white people like disappearing <laughs> over the horizon, you know? Hey, she guys, goes, no, guys, man, this is not racist, though. This is not racist. Anyone that thinks this is racist is not racist, bro. This is... <laughs> This is how anyone would feel. This is how I would. This is how I would feel, or any black man would feel. If we was in the wrong neighborhood, bro. If we was over in like the middle of like Yim you know what I mean? Like, come on, like real rat. People like disappearing over the horizon, you know. Phil is, she goes, Phil no, is, man, you want to get on the Uptown Two Three train? You want to get off at a hundred and twenty fifth Street? I'm like, God, fuck, hundred twenty fifth Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. He's funny as hell. So, at this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? Nah, nah, you and gotta I'm let it show. I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right <laughs> on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, God, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> Yo, Joe, go on the internet. <laughs> Did he kill a bunch of white people during the slave revolt? <laughs> Dude, I ain't going up there. Yo. Nah, bro. Nah, he's wildin'. He's wildin'. Kill a bunch of white people during the slave revolt. <laughs> okay. Dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam saying. to fuck this shit. <laughs> So at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? <laughs> just relax. We can't help it, y'all. All the guys here, bro, just like, like, we can't, I know, bro, we can't help it, bro. And all the females here, bro, just understand when you and your man get into it, bro, sometimes, sometimes, bro, we just end up thinking with our dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes that's just, like, like, sometimes we end up thinking about our dick, bro. You catch a man on Pornhub, bro, he was thinking with his dick, bro. You know what I'm saying? You catch a man on the OnlyFans, bro, the dick didn't won. You the dick won, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real rap, bro. I'm sorry. The penis won, bro. Sometimes the penis just win. I'm not going to hold you. We all been there. I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going. No, come on, man. We can do this, all right? Do this. Just relax. <laughs> Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? <laughs> so as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, okay. right? <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I'm at. When I see the street, I wanna go up. I wanna go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building, but there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I wanna walk by. So I'm like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell all y'all, yeah, 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 all y'all keys to game members, bro. Let me tell y'all how to get through this situation, all right, man? This is how we going right it, all right? This is how you do it, all right? So first, you walking past the block that you have no business being on, you know what I'm saying? Listen, you pull your phone out, all right? Pull your phone out. You know what I'm saying? And you don't, you, this only works if they don't know you and you don't know them. You know what I'm saying? This only works that, that way. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen. You pull your phone out and you walk, head down, all right? Just act like you're on your phone, you feel me? You're getting past them. You walk past them. If they say something to you, if they say something to you, the first thing you do, this is your first move. As soon as they say something, oh, what's good, what's good? And just keep it pushing on your phone. Just keep it pushing on your phone. You know what I'm saying? Real rap, head down. You feel me? Go to to your destination, you feel me? Now, if they press you, if, if they press you, bro, after you do the what's up, John, like, and just keep it pushing. Yo, if, if they press you, bro, you have to say, bro, I'm just visiting my granny. My granny live around, my, my granny live down the street right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to my granny crib for the day. You feel me? The granny crib always work, bro. If granny is from the block and you go in the granny crib, bro, you're G's, bro. Your G's. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna mess with Granny's grandson. You know what I'm saying? Granddaughter, whoever it is. Real rap. You know what I'm saying? You you just you just a citizen. So like that's how you get out of that situation, bro. I don't know if Bill Burr knew this information. But if he sees this, hopefully he knows. But y'all know this information now, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all use it. 
No cap. When I see the street, I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. Boom. Fuck! <laughs> I felt like I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. He was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I got to walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? <laughs> and I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? Yeah. Like, shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> we know. You know we know. I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> no, especially yeah. if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> Fucking unicorn like pops up. Like a little pot of gold. <laughs> like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, latte. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. <laughs> but it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax. Uh -huh. Sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. <laughs> That's G's, though. That's like easy work. Groups, you know what I mean? Easy work. <laughs> It's just that, getting yeah. in there that's a fucking pain in the ass. Yep, it's just getting there, bro. The easy part is getting there and macking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, once you macking, bro, you're like, that's the easy part, you feel me? It's getting there for y'all, you know what I'm saying? No cap. It, he had a whole trip on his way there, like. <laughs> My boy was going through it. But, you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes got to go through the same shit, though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> just that same awful bro. feeling. Bro, my me? girl's white, bro. Y'all know this. All the Keezy Gang OGs, bro. Y'all know. Y'all know. My girl is white, bro. Like, nigga. It's the same way, bro. I had to live with her. I lived with her for like two years, bro. You know what I'm saying, gang? Like, listen. I, 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 feel like, I, I feel like I was being watched at every goddamn moment. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Taking out the damn trash. Walking the dog. I promise you, bro. On, like, I promise you. Like, yo. It's crazy. They had night. They had neighborhood watches and shit. Like, it was crazy, bro. It was nuts. I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes got to go through the same shit, though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. Yeah. Probably start off lean, <laughs> you know, fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2, the radio's off. Like, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass. I don't see any rims. <laughs> Fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people. In Goddamn the bugs and shit. Fucking deer and raccoons and skunks and fucking and fucking animals I ain't never seen before in a while, bro. Like what the hell? I promise you, bro. It's real. It's, it's, it's <laughs> you feel like you hit Narnia sometimes, guy. Bro, this is fucked up. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. God bless you. Thank you very much. All right, man. That was fire. That was fire, gang. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I rocked with that one a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keezy gang. I hope y'all like this one, bro. You know what I'm saying? If if y'all like this one, let me know in the comments because I will try and throw some stuff like this in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Just some fun, entertaining stuff that we can watch together. You know what I'm saying? We can definitely do that. No cap. Uh, Bill Burr, you funny as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, like, this was funny as shit. And, like, <laughs> honestly, it was all facts. Like, he was saying, he was, he was talking about real life shit. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's crazy, bro. I promise y'all, bro. Yo, that was it, man. Bill Burr, Fire, Keezy Gang. I hope y'all enjoy this, bro. Stay safe and enjoy all day, bro. You know what I'm saying? We do this every day. I will have music video reactions coming later on. You know what I'm saying? For those of y'all that are new, bro, we do do re music video reactions. So if you want, if you like music, want to find some new people to listen to, check out some of the music videos I got. No cap. Keezy Gang, I'm out.